in our business, we've got a, a real, uh, there's a real spectrum of people that really get it, and then there's others that are, are, uh, are still finding their, finding their way, and it's our challenge, our opportunity to, uh, to help publishers understand what's really possible because many of us have been in the business for many decades, and we're used to certain ways of, uh, of producing and publishing and, and manufacturing books and distribute them. So uh, we have uh, people within our, within our company who go and work with publishers and take uh, samples or look at their list and look at their production costs and really do a, an audit and come back with different scenarios and, and suggest that if you only printed to the, your back orders plus uh, flow bin lists or, or levels and, uh, and change their ordering patterns or looked at how their, how their products are positioned versus their, their competition in their marketplace, we try to enlighten them. And, and then uh, what we really can do with the new technology is do beta tests. We can do uh, production quality, high quality uh, product in very small runs that they can take to their sales and marketing editorial or production groups and, uh, and say, how does this work? Which is really what really exciting part of the new, the new technology uh, that new technology can do. It's evolved so quickly and uh, it, we see it creeping more and more into the offset runs and uh, the papers and the colors. Um, even over the last couple of months, I've seen more change in the, in the types of papers that we can print on and the high quality color that we can uh, reproduce in the last two months than I saw in the, the previous 18. But it's still a challenge to get the workflow integration amongst all the processes, whether that be our, our pre-press and some integration with our publishing customers right through our cover and, and text manufacturing, binding and distribution. So the biggest thing that we're working on is that streamlining of that integration. Um, our, our model really isn't down to the book of one, but we'd like to get the cost of hundreds of books to equal the cost of thousands of books so that publishers like Laura don't have to really fret over, uh, yeah, do I have to print 700, why can't I come and print 200, 200 or whatever my back orders are and really optimize their, their cash flow and optimize their ability to respond to, to market needs. So the, um, the streamlining and the, and the driving out of those uh, transaction costs and projects and the way it, it goes through our manufacturing systems is a big, uh, a big focus for us. Right now we're still 75, 25, we still produce tens of millions of books offset. Um, we, we started that way with Laura and her company uh, years ago and we've grown into digital, but the digital part is definitely growing uh, uh, the quickest for us. So uh, I certainly see we're past the, the, tipping, the tipping point. Digital is our future and our, and our ability to help our publishers thrive and in some cases survive in their marketplaces is going to be on us making the right technology investments and then integrating that uh, with our customers uh, to, to really help them respond to, to markets. So in three years, I see a, a much more dynamic uh, supply chain where the orders come uh, from our publishers or from their sources right into the manufacturing uh, facilities and we're able to fulfill close to on-demand or in very small batches at very reasonable and, and responsive, uh, re reasonable costs and responsive turnarounds so that a lot of our, our time and effort can be put into developing better publishing programs as opposed to managing transactions or, uh, or projects.